Hey guys, Terry here. I recently made a trip to Joann's um, in Columbus, Ohio. It's the one located on Polaris. And um, I was at a crop, and then we ran over there to get a couple things. And while I was there, I had just seen a video on this uh, foil quilling system. So it's made by Memory Keepers. We are Memory Keepers. And um, the idea is, and I haven't even opened this yet, but it is um, made to work with all the different cutting systems. And it's, it's a pen that will do the foiling. So it has a USB cord, and the idea is that you replace your pen or blade in your Cricut or Brother or um, Silhouette, and that it gets, with electric, it gets this hot, and then as you draw the image, it um, puts the foil onto the paper or whatever surface you're using. Um, so I can't wait to try this. It comes, there's a package, I, I just bought the medium standard point, but there's a fine tip and then a wider, bolder tip. Um, the demo I saw really didn't show a difference between the standard one and the, uh, the bold one. So it's $40 for one. So if you bought all three, that'd be, you know, 120. They sell all three for 99. You can't use your coupon at Joann's. Um, it's considered one of those new items, and they don't use the coupon for it. But um, it's called Foil Quill by Memories Keeper. Um, the foil that you buy has to be heat activated. Um, I know my mink foil is activated by the um, printer ink. So, and I don't know, it's funny because when you start looking at the foils and what they um, say on them, foil from Cricut is called um, party foil. So, you know, nobody can tell us yet. Even at Joann's, we were asking questions saying, what foil can you use? So I bought gold. I thought that would be a common color that I foiled. And then I think there's, I think it came with some sample Oil. Maybe it didn't. Um, it comes with this little foot so that you don't get your mat um, hot when it's heating. And then it comes with different attachments for each of the um, machines. So um, so that'll be something that I do a video on soon to, uh, to play with that. Um, but yeah, it's called Foil Quill by Wear Memory Keepers. So I will be playing with that in a video. Um body puppy stamp that I couldn't resist. Look at that puppy. He looks so cute. That's just made by Fiskars. Um, yeah, I bought a sample pack of their foil to try it out on. And then bought some paper and some washi tape. Um, just I thought I could make cards when I start using that foil maker. So that'll be cool. Um, I also recently got a Stampin' Up! order in, and I think um, this was my free part of their celebration. I got this one for free. You know how it is, free, you put your order in. <laughs> so um, they keep coming out with more colors of the blends. This is the black, a light and a dark. Um, that was my free one. I got this one because I like the sayings on it. You're my chosen family. Know that a friend is thinking of you. So I thought those things were cute. Um, I thought this stamp was pretty, with the flowers and then these um, ink blotches to make it look like you did uh, watercoloring. So I can't wait to play with that one. It's called Love What You Do. And then this one um, is a pretty old one, but it's got a lot of stamps in it. I love these little flowers. I love the vases. It has a punch too. I didn't get the punch. Um, I'm trying to um, get rid of all my punches because I'm just don't have the room for them anymore. 
Um, I've got, I'm trying to make myself use my electronic cutters. Um, so that's what I'm doing with that. My brother scan and cut. I can stamp these and then cut that with the brother scan and cut. So I don't really need the, the punches. But those are cute. And then um, I thought I would show you some layouts that I recently did. Um, might do that in another video. Well, let's do it in this one. Let me. I want to take you through the process of when you're doing layouts, just to give you ideas of um, things to consider when you're making the layouts. So we'll quickly go through these. This is layouts that I did recently at a crop. So here is a Christmas layout. And it came in the, this is the, the kits that I talk about all the time is this scrapbook generation. Um, they're out of Springfield, Missouri. I just love their layouts. So this one, you can see, has, I love their layouts because it's four by six photos that fit in it perfectly. And then this one here, I'm going to use my brother's scan and cut to cut these ornaments out. So that's going to be handy. You can buy a beautiful piece of paper like this and then tell it what to cut on your brother's scan and cut. And then I'll put string on them and finish this layout here. So that was Christmas. Just last Christmas. So I got that one. I can't say enough about those kits and I will do a link to my layout, to, to my uh, video that I talked about those kits and what all comes in them. Um, this is a layout here from recently went to Ikea. So this one uh, was not a kit. Um, it was the paper that I just loved. I'm trying to remember the name of the paper. I don't know if it was Cartabella. Ah, I'm terrible about that. I need to start making a little note of what paper sets it was. But anyways, I knew that I had a lot of um, vertical photos and then these ones were not. This one was um, a 4x6 uh, landscape. So I made this fit here. I trimmed that one down and I cut these two pictures um, to fit so that I could make it be the photos in the middle. And then um, I cut strips of paper and I kind of played with what colors fit. You know, I had the I had this salmon colored one up here and um, I just had to look at the paper and see what was contrasting and what worked well. Um, I knew I loved the flower print and the plaid. They were just gorgeous. And then I cut these little strips and just moved them around and played with the colors to um, get that um, to be pleasing. And then I just decorated with little stickers. I did a little sticker set here and some here and some here and some up there. This was the little strips of paper that came off the um, the ends of the strips of paper, you know, where the barcode is. So put that on. So that one was a cute one. This one here, another one. This was a kit, but it was basically just the strips off here. Um, it basically had the strips across the top here, and then these, yeah, I'm trying to remember how it originally had it, but I made it work for my pictures. I think maybe it just had like two pictures here, and then I squeezed in more pictures on it. So again, just trying to, had I fit um, four by four pictures here so that I could squeeze in five pictures on that page. Put a title on it. So, love that paper. This one I did a, just a one pager. This was my daughter and I. We went to see uh, Rent, the Broadway show, last month. Um, I need to put the date on here and say what the show was, and then possibly tuck the ticket in somewhere. I might put the ticket here behind the picture, have it sticking out. I try to tell the story. When we go to these shows, I don't take too many pictures, so I do like to put the ticket in and then maybe even slink, uh, shrink down the little playbill cover and have that on here too. So I might add that and add the ticket. But um, this wasn't a kit either. This was me just trying to layer pattern paper 
Um, I think I saw a example on Pinterest where it was a strip here and a strip across here and then I just added other little pieces of color to it sprinkled some stickers in there so I think it doesn't overpower the pictures but I think it's a cute way to use all the pattern paper Okay, this one I found so Jolie's had this in a set it was a baby size onesie and then the Jolie little um, onesie there so then my daughter-in-law graciously took pictures of the baby he's five months old now again I gotta put the date on here but she took pictures of him in the onesie it says born a sucker and then uh, has that embellishment on it such a cute idea I bought that at a store that was going out of business so I don't even know if Jolie's has those anywhere I had never seen those in the store before so I thought that one was cute jelly bean paper love jelly bean paper um, this one is gonna go in my I have a scrapbook about our scrapbook trips and uh, this one we went to the Columbus Expo that was recently it was just last month and uh, took a picture of stuff that I bought took a picture of us and then uh, put it on cute um, scrapbooking paper again I gotta start writing down the brand of the paper but uh, this was pretty easy to, easy to do I knew the two pictures that I wanted to focus on I matted it with a solid color because I was putting it on some pretty bright background paper put the date on it and then uh, just some stickers I popped them up so I thought that was cute this one here we are selling our condo and I downloaded the pictures of it after we had it staged it turned out beautiful so I want to remember what it looked like this is jelly bean paper this was a kit um, I really struggle with pages that have uh, one photo on them but uh, I think I, I I always tell people I'm okay if it has one photo on this page <laughs> if the other one is full of photos. So how many, let's see, four, so I got ten pictures, eight pictures on here and nine with this one. So um, this is little three by four pictures and this is four by sixes. So again, I think it tells, it's enough pictures to tell the story. I had more pictures than this, but this is just a good summary and then this was the focal pit, focal point put it on that page and I think it looks good together this one is my grandson's birthday party from last year so I think it goes this way so again I try to make sure I've got a picture of each person that was there and then um, the date I've got a title um, and I've got to get better at journaling. I don't always write down all the details. I have them in my journal and I need to um, just draw some lines and put the journaling on here. But again, cute background paper, couple colors of paper, strips going across the page here. We always have pattern paper with all the different um, colors that goes together. Um, again I don't want it to overpower the pictures so I think there's enough pictures there that tell the story and then it's got cute little doodads on it a couple more I'll quickly go through these here this is another one where we went to a scrapbooking retreat um, have a group photo it has everybody's name on it pictures from different things that we did I did journal on it and then again I grouped these small pictures on a background paper I did white on this pink busy background paper and then some stickers so um, yeah I do try to squeeze a lot of pictures in I don't want to have more than a two page layout if it's just you know a little weekend trip so Try to make it a good summary, summary of the story. 
This one here was my daughter's birthday. Again, this is one with the one picture on it. It looks really pretty, but I don't want to waste <laughs> a two-page layout without having all the pictures on here. I probably need to journal on here and explain what all we did and make a note of all her friends' names and put the date on here. So this one had strips across the bottom, strips across the top, and then a place for all the pictures. This one, I got two more. This one, I'm, I'm really liking this uh, layout where it's, um, if you've got landscape pictures in 4 by 6 and then these little squares here, 4 by 4s so these could have been photos if I had them. Um, I'm going to put the baby's name and birth information on here. But it's a cute way to use the pattern paper but then still have all your photos on it. And what's nice about this layout is it could be this way if you had vertical photos. You know, this this 4x6 and 4x4 works either direction. And you could have one this way and one that way if you had both sides. And this this kind of this pattern comes from like Project Life where it's got the pocket photos. I just happened to do it on white background paper and then cut these to 4x4. Four four. Um, again, because I like the pattern paper. And then just decorate these. I've used this. I like that pattern a lot. Very quick. Quick layouts. One last one. This one I believe was a kit. Um, I've got the date and the place. I don't have journaling on here yet. Probably will make a little white tag or something and add it to the page. But this one is... I, I love the pattern background paper. A lot of people put it on a plain background. Um, that side's probably too busy. But um, love the pattern paper that goes together. And um, you can see here, I, this was probably for two 4x6s four by, four by and I squeezed in and trimmed my photos down to make five pictures fit on it. These ones, the pictures were pretty dark on the light background so I didn't have to really mat them to make them stand out but you could have. So that's the last one. So I hope those give you like ideas on doing layouts and um, like I said with this mink foil, not the mink foil, the um, foil quill. I'll do a video in a couple days on that. So thanks guys.